So like you were you were so Stephen was Hitler, right? Stephen <laughs> Stephen hey, Stephen was also <laughs> Stephen was also Martin Luther King, right? But Stephen was also you know uh, Stalin. Stephen was also Gandhi, right? Stephen was also you know all these victims of you know these crimes. Stephen was also the person committing those crimes. You know, so Stephen was everybody. So in this theory, you're everybody. You lived all these lives. And you need to live all these lives and experience all this so at the end you can become so prolongs me this Hopefully everybody in the chat can join. That'll be that'll be my fun to for everybody in the chat to comment, talk shit with us. Uh let's jump. Let's jump in. Uh, how was your week, bro? Yeah. Anything well, anything right. eventful? Because nothing eventful happened. We can skip all this small talk. Um I'm trying to think. I'm nah, I'm not now. happening on my side. I just know Steven was up all night. Mm. Out, out in these streets. Steven was the, Out the, all night. Streets was calling Steven. I think he picked up. The streets is calling. Who? Oh wait, hold on. Have y'all seen? Have y'all seen this? Have you seen this new like uh that new? I don't know what it's called. Like filter where it's like the streets and it's calling. It's like yeah, FaceTime. It's FaceTime. Yeah. They show all the whores. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see Steven yeah. in there or not? Nah? I, yeah. I know Steven's the one calling. Oh, <laughs> like, I, like he's the one. He's the one that's that's uh that's under the streets. They saved his contact under the streets. Ooh, damn. Damn, Daniel. Damn, you calling me a vagabundo borracho, huh? Cue the music. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I have not laughed so. Yo, I'm still laughing at that. Yo, yeah, I don't know. So it, like, it was so relatable, yo. <laughs> oh, when I go, Nico. Yo, I, if you, yo, if y'all watch back at that video, no, no, no. no. When my man finds his cup, she's gonna call me an alcoholico. I'm a, I'm a vagabundo, borracho y loco. Hey, yo, like that Tio Loco song. Alcohólico, vagabundo y borracho. As soon as Steven said alcohólico, with his little pinky up like this. Yo, I lost it, yo. I fucking lost it. Make sure you go back and check out our last episode. It was fucking hilarious. I was drunk. It was hilarious. No regrets either. Uh, yo, that shit was hilarious. Um, this is what episode is this? Yo, this is from the chat podcast episode nine. Nine? nine. nine. Oh shit, we almost got ten on the bag. Uh, it's episode nine. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Christian. We got my boy Danny G here, and my boy. I'm Steven, aka Sleepless, aka, AKA Doge, Doge Daddy here, <laughs> aka, AKA Doge Daddy, aka uh, Insomnia, Insomnia Daddy. No, Insomnia Zaddy. Mm. You know. Gotcha. Uh, daddy. Danny, let's jump in. Yo, um, what have they been talking about in the group chats? What have the fans been talking about? I got some submissions in here. Uh first one is uh if you were a girl, what type of girl would you be? Obviously, we're all we're all male, so <laughs> if you could flip the script. Yo, so the, this is this is what you got talking about in your group chats. Flip a script. <laughs> yeah, all talking I about like, it. I feel girls. like we've definitely we've definitely spoken about this before, maybe at a younger uh, age. That's I'm sure we have. Said. I'm sure we have. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. All right. So if you were a girl, what kind of girl would you be? So I'm going to ask you this question, this follow-up question. Would you be the girl that you're looking for right now? Is that the kind of girl you would be? Nah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Nah. Uh, so, Danny, what kind of girl are you looking for right now? What kind of girl would Wait, you what want kind of girl to be? am I looking for? No, what? no. What, what kind of girl would you want to be the next, you know, Miss Garcia, you know? <laughs> Steven, hold your comments. <laughs> Yo, Steven, ready? Like uh, he ready to? I ain't say nothing. <laughs> Yo, someone said I'll be a train station. I'll be a train station. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'll be a train station. <laughs> Dad, you gonna... right, right, Dad, I was a girl. Back. What kind of girl would I be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just only want war. It'd be fucking whore. You gonna be a whore? Like that's it. Absolutely. All right. So, what was what kind of guys are you? Would you be into? All right, I mean, he's a, he's a whore, so does that matter? Like, for me, zero standards. We talking three inch Punisher, or you know, 
The big King. BBC, like it don't matter to him. All right, relax, y'all. Y'all stretching it, relax. <laughs> okay, they gonna be I stretching thought... you. So, so serious. <laughs> wow. <man. laughs> <laughs> Yo, so seriously, you you would uh you just be out here, you just be a whore, like you just sleep with everybody. You'll what, what, tell me more. What, what's gonna be? Your I want like, to I want to see if I could break the record for most bodies. So me? being so for you for you having a freaky Friday when you switch and you're in a girl's right. body, you just want to fuck. The first thing you're thinking about is I'm gonna fuck dudes. Nah, that, I'm telling I'm telling you what would you yeah. what kind of girl would you be like? And you're telling me I'm gonna fuck mad dudes. <laughs> That's <what> just. <laughs> So I would, I would low key you start. Do. I would low key start just sticking masks. Like what will fit in there? Like I'll start sticking. <laughs> like what's the biggest thing? Like <laughs> probably a baby. Oh, that's true. Word. Like you see that? For his his first thought was like, yeah, I'm just gonna be with all the men nah, and not man. be judged. I'll be the biggest lesbian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> biggest <laughs> lesbian. Well, oh, Danny, what kind of what kind of a uh, would that would it change your career path? Like what you want to be? If you were a girl, yeah, a whore. <laughs> um, I'd be damn my career path. Oof. Mm-hmm. I would. I'll probably make a. I'll be a, make another OnlyFans. Make my own OnlyFans. Okay, so my own be, company, not OnlyFans. Like you make an OnlyFans kind of company. Yeah, because that's that's raking in the money right now. Everybody on OnlyFans. So you just assuming that you're gonna look good? Nah, I know I'm gonna look good. <laughs> He's just assuming. Me. He's just assuming that female Danny is gonna look bad. Facts. I'm gonna be the baddest. How about you, Steve? What kind of girl would I be? Honestly, mm-hmm. I'd probably be classy. Like just just flex OD. Cap, me? cap, cap. Why would you be cap? You, All wanna, right, be a whore? Right. you wanna be a whore or oh wait, hold no. on. <laughs> this is this is Steven right now. This is Steven right now. This is Steven right now. <laughs> cap. Cap. <laughs> you got a lot of red hats for men who live in Texas. Mm. You know, sometimes you gotta protect yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? We talked about it. well, yo, we talked about it. Uh, uh we'll say it. We talked about uh having like a a Blue Lives Matter stick bumper sticker on your car, just so you know what I mean. Yeah, so you don't get pulled over. You feel me? In case, and if you do get pulled over, just like thank you, buddy. I'm like, all right, cool. Keep it moving. Sometimes you, sometimes you need a little. Well, what is the card that that the police officers give family members? PBA. PBA. Sometimes you need a little PBA card. You know what I mean? Um, it's the Blue Lives Matter sticker on the trunk. You know what I mean? Uh, that comes with every single pickup truck down here, by the way. That sticker. It comes with the dealership. Yeah. <laughs> the dealership. <laughs> dealership. You, get, you get your registration, you get that, that bumper sticker. <laughs> it all comes together. Uh, right, so back to you. If I was a girl, if I was a, if I was a woman, because I ain't going to be a little girl, I'm going to be a woman. You I'm going to be a respectable woman, right? I'm probably gonna be classy, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be like, uh, I'll probably be, I'll probably try to recreate that Marilyn Monroe kind of vibe. Feel me? I'm gonna be Lori Harvey out here. You heard? Oh, so <laughs> you, you you're gonna fuck the president? If I would, if I had to, if I was gonna fuck somebody, why not? You know what I mean? Why oh, not? Sleepy Joe. Oh, <laughs> Sleepy <laughs> Joe. <laughs> mm-hmm. the, the text Mon- is coming out of him. That's your type, Monica, bro. Be Monica Lewinsky up up in here. Feel me? That's your type, Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe, uh, that would be your type. My type, money, of, uh, I don't got money. no type. Yeah, my money type. type. Yeah, yeah, power. <laughs> so, nobody wants to, so nobody wants to be a whore except hey. me. That's crazy. I, nah, you feel me? I think, yeah. I think, I think you will be the same person that you are now if you were a woman. So it kind of matches up. Like, nah, I'm a child of God. So I literally just <laughs> cute little Nas X again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but that's funny. I think we're good with that. What's the What's the next one, Danny? The next um, topic. Yeah, next one is: uh, Are you traveling during COVID? Or uh, to do it or not to do it? Are y'all traveling? Yes, I literally. This is gonna be my second trip during COVID. I'm going to Texas. You hear me? We're gonna record. We got a little surprise for y'all. Feel me? Wait, Danny, you got your, you got your flight? Or mm-hmm. yeah, I bought it. You bought your flight? Yeah, that didn't sound believable, <laughs> bro. I bought it. <laughs> put, I want to lie about that. Yo, put the flight details up right now on the screen. Hold on, go ahead. I got Stevens right here. Like, you got the receipts. Bro, the, listen, you got the I receipts. Don't, I don't. I, I don't receipts. lie. You got receipts. You, you don't lie, cheat, and steal. Yeah, it's gonna be that big. Like, do, do you guys think it's gonna be awkward? What the first, uh, like our first episode, all of us together? This is gonna be our first episode of all of us. No, being I, I'm gonna no, be awkward. Right, I think it's gonna be lit. I think it's you gonna think be I'll way be here, better. Like, I just be here, like I don't know what to do. My, I don't know what to do. My no, 
We've been knowing each other for way too long to be awkward. What are we going on a first keep date? It a G, keeping a G, it might be too flagrant. <laughs> Once all of us get together <laughs> and we start yeah, recording, a Patreon episode. It might be a three-hour podcast. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and and, and uh, um, our other friends are coming too, right? Who? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, nah, B. Because and, and if they're in the room too, like while we're recording, mm-hmm. it's gonna get too nuts. Macadamia, <laughs> macadamia. That's funny. Yes. But traveling, traveling during COVID. Uh, we all, we've already traveled during COVID. Yeah, right? we when did. We launched Puerto our first Rico. episode after going to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Nah, no, check, check yeah, and I'm traveling for me. Yeah, I think just take your precautions, Stephen. Isn't it true that uh, it's safer to be in a plane than to be like in a restaurant or some shit? Because you're asking the, the wrong circulation? person. You're asking the wrong person. I thought you was EMT. I thought you worked for the CDC. My phone. Yeah, my phone. Oh. yeah. Danny, Danny worked close to the CDC than I do. He was working at the airport. Oh, yeah, he works checking airport. people. Oh, yeah. Like, yo, uh, Danny. But then yeah. now they said like every four minutes is like it's like brand new air in the airplane. It's like the I mean, circle that way. Yeah, just open the door. <laughs> you imagine, bro? That'd be crazy. Like, yeah. So I think nah, traveling I during COVID, uh, it's, it's possible. It's, diff- it's difficult, but just do it. Like, fuck it. Like, why stop? You know, just get. You know, some places need a, a COVID test to get a fake one, get a real one, or do whatever you got to do. You know what I mean, that's <laughs> illegal now. Oh, that's illegal now. Right? You can't do any fake ones, so you can't yes. buy your. You can't that. buy your your <laughs> your test off the block no more. So yeah, just, off, off of Danny, <laughs> shit off of Danny, yeah, off a of, uh, DM Danny for the um, yeah, for I, the, the dating applications. We still, we still, nah, we're fam. still waiting some nah. <laughs> submissions to come in. Nah, fam. Oh, you it's closed. You're not hiring no more. You're not hiring no more. I'm trying to discriminate me. I have the, no clue what you're talking about. The position has been filled. Position? We talking about the, the we talking about the, the cuddling position, bro. Yeah. Oh no, that's so. Wait, what was you talking about? Nah, Dude, what else you doing? Nah, I don't know what you talking about. Uh, yeah, nah. The applications <laughs> are open. You know, so keep sending them in. Sending them in. Yo, <laughs> <I, laughs> uh, yo, who do we have? John watching? Is John on right now? El Young. Yeah. El Young. El Young. John, send a comment. Send send something. Put something in the in the comments. Let me hear you. Let me make sure you hear. For real, for real. He real. He nervous. He's nervous. Is that John right there? Yeah, Jung 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 Paradise. Yeah, who's nervous? Shout out to John. Yo, shout out to John. Yo, John. John is running the our social media. So if anybody responds back to your DM, kind of wild. <laughs> it wasn't us, <laughs> right? Wait, 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 it depends because you know my man John is, is is loyal, so he's gonna watch what he say. But if if they say yeah. something wild, no, nah, but yeah, but John has John yeah. has the, the mask of you know from the chat podcast, so nobody knows well, he, who's writing back. So he can he be like, it. it's Danny, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah, I, I can just lie. Like you could just lie. So mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If if any if you get anything wild, it wasn't me and it wasn't Steven. That's all I'm saying. True. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. There's only three of us, but it wasn't two of us. You know what I mean? Uh yeah, so just travel, bro. Just travel. If if you if you can get to your destination, just go. Don't stop living life because of COVID. You feel me? Just yeah, fuck it. Just you know what I mean? I love fuck it. Wear your mask if that's what you like, if that's what you believe in. Where get your vaccine, that's what you like, that's what you believe in. Just live your life. Hey. And stop, and stop, um, stop taking these uh WhatsApp videos and Facebook videos <laughs> to heart. You know what I mean? You have these these WhatsApp videos and these Facebook videos that are telling you that people are going sterile because of the vaccine, that people are growing hey. three arms. You know what I'm saying? People hey, yo, you go deep in that web, people are becoming homosexual because of the vaccine. All like right. stop listening, yo. You know, just because there's a video on it doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> That's what I gotta say. Like, <laughs> yeah, the same video that you saw that said people are going sterile, I could find another video saying people are living their life great. Just because there's a video on it, just because there's a video on it, and someone says it don't mean it's true. You know what I mean? Or it can be true. Whatever. However you feel. That's, That's true it. nowadays. Just travel. Just travel. Yeah, I wonder how people are gonna feel about the next one. Go ahead, Danny. Or do you, you want me to read it? Because I don't know if you could read that. Right, yo, ahead, yeah, like, see like, the heat, you yeah. Let's see what you know how to do. Well, Danny looking like Minecraft right now on my screen. <laughs> how about now? <laughs> He's looking like Minecraft on your on your suit. Yeah. How about yeah, now? Yo, but go ahead, yeah, Daniel. Read it. No, nah, you're reading it because you got it. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead. Uh I cannabinoid hyperemesis after 420. Oh, he said it right. Can we can we check with Siri to see if we if we, if we pronounce that yeah, right? right? Okay, anyway. 
I know I pronounced it right. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you're trying to cheat check me. Double check, make sure you pronounce that right. <laughs> now go ahead, go ahead. All right, so go basically, ahead. it's people getting sick due to the Mary Jane, the loud. The, the za? The za? The za, za. The so, za. so that's uh, people are getting uh, what, a stomach, stomach issue? Yeah, so I, I don't know. I read it briefly, like before, but basically, like people are throwing up like excessively and taking like hot showers, which is like leading to a bunch of like either almost nothing symptoms like a headache or to like cerebral edema, which is like bleeding from the brain or like blood clots, which is kind of crazy. So obviously, we don't know much about this, um, but is is it strictly like marijuana or is it just smoking? Period. Like what? I don't. I don't. I don't know because like smoking can also do that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, smoking so either nicotine I'm, or anything. Maybe a better question for us to discuss is, you know, what are going to be some of the effects that we think uh, as the country starts to open up, you know, starts to make marijuana legal. Like we all know like the benefits of it, but I don't think people, at least like, like us on our group chats, we don't really discuss the negative side of it. Like what's going to be the negative. So what do you guys think are some of the negatives that may come with you know the nation legalizing marijuana an increase in lung cancer okay um is that linked to marijuana i mean is there studies on that well, you smoke, smoke you smoke general. anything yeah. you were, so, you okay, okay so, so any any kind of smoke in the lungs mm-hmm. can contribute to lung cancer correct marijuana okay, okay, doesn't okay. stop cancer it just makes you feel better while you're going through like mm-hmm. chemotherapy and stuff like that gotcha 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 okay but then there's edibles right yeah. there's all the, these different ways that you can intake that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, is this study done on just people smoking or just like uh, edibles as well? Mm. And that's and that's an interesting thing, especially when people are uh, seeing things online and you see like the headline is look, reading it and looking into like that was a great question that Stephen just said. You know, was this people are these people smoking? Are these people just, you know, intaking it through edibles? Is it general? Is the study just is that study just says people that do marijuana period, because if that's the case, there's a lot of variables in there that they're not taking into account. So it's like, how serious can you take, you know, this, something like this. So that's a great question. I wonder what a pizza edible tastes like. Ooh, pizza it's, edible. Edible. it's probably in the, it's probably in the butter, like an actual slice, like an actual pie of pizza and they just put it in the butter. Mm-hmm. Or just, just, just a crust, just a crust. Just a crust. Yeah. Like, you know how Domino's it, ODs with their, with the yeah, seasoning yeah, on the crust? Garlic. Can you imagine being one of those people? Do you, y- y'all know some of those people that don't eat the crust of? Nah, my friends are let, adults, so let, let me not say. Let me say. I'm trying to say. I'm trying. I'm trying to say pizza, but I don't want to say it. And Steve make fun of me. How is? <laughs> how is that? This is it. It's with two Z's, buddy. Like Zaza. Pizza. 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 <laughs> pizza. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. So that, again, that was a great, great question because I don't know if people are. Smoking it, if they're eating it, it's gotta be a good. That's a good question. Uh, Danny, do you do you can you think of any negatives that might happen? No, nah, as we start, not as we top, start. Of my, top of my head. Well, there, there, well, there was that story in Colorado that these kids mistake mistaken like gummy bears, like mm-hmm. regular gummy bears, mm-hmm. for like marijuana, like edible gummy bears. Man. <laughs> and they fucking hey, they yeah. took like they ate like six <laughs> of them shits. And that ever happened? That ever happened to y'all? Like you thought it was regular brownie, but it was like weed brownies, I don't, and y'all got like I don't, really. I don't, I don't just, you know, I don't just have a bunch of edibles laying around the house. <laughs> and a bunch. <laughs> Not, of but you never been to like a party or like a friend's house, or. I mean, I, 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 I never I, been drugged by none of my friends. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go <laughs> eat random things at a party. Like I'm not walking through their fridge, like oh, a brownie yeah. in their fridge. I mean, this day and age, I'm gonna ask. I'm like, yo, is that a regular brownie? Well, yeah, I don't wanna, yeah. I do that too. I don't want sure. you to. Say, yo, yeah, you can have some dessert. And then I'm thinking I'm just going to eat some sugar. You know what I mean? And then out of nowhere, boom. <laughs> My friend's scared for me. Yeah. Yo, what other circles is Danny hanging out with that he just getting I spiked? Know. I didn't say it. I, it was me. I was just asking all a question, right. fam. All right. All right. <laughs> Are we talking yo, about this next topic or not? Yo, no, I was, I was going to ask uh, for uh, whoever just put the comment in. What do you think? What are, what are some negatives you think might come with uh, with legalizing marijuana you know, nationwide? What do you mean just health or like just in general? Kind of anything that can happen. Like I just named like the kids eating by mistake. Like it's laying around the house, which is more of a parental thing, a parental issue. I, ha- I have a question when it comes to like DUI, you know, like how are they going to check that? Because uh, I- I'm speaking, I'm speaking for a friend who has a, uh, you know, pretty bad, uh, 
how does what's the word I'm looking to use? Experiences, you know, getting getting zooted, and uh, they're terrible drivers. You know, what I'm saying as a these, this is my friend speaking, but of course, terrible drivers. So friend, I'm like, uh, how do you, your friend uh, Thieven? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, they they get smacked and they can't drive no more. Like I drive better, uh, not under the influence. I don't do that anymore. But if I had to pick one, so you used to do it. Yeah, that's inter- that's interesting. Um, I think I was interesting. Does uh, what are do you know if what are the Colorado laws with like marijuana and driving? No, I mean I live in New Jersey, so. I don't know either. Call nah. Call the taxi. Well, uh, yeah, we move on. Yeah, move on to the next one. This this is a good one. (laughs) They have a breathalyzer. They have a breathalyzer for weed. They do. What? Uh, Well, I I know that. Um, like in my job, whenever I give the drug test to like new hires, like. The, 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 the saliva is a mouth swab and you know i can get in seven minutes it can i can get the results back they could do that so maybe they carry on something like that it'll be more efficient if they had like something like oh, that like really, there really is a breathalyzer breathalyzer that's mm-hmm. crazy that is crazy so we got one for alcohol and one for the za the zaalizer they're called it's made by hound labs uh oh they got a wait they list got, to buy it okay. they got stocks they got stocks <laughs> so, right. they got a company they, they public i mean i don't know but if they are like i'm in on that they got a whole wait list for this yes yeah, that's gonna be crazy hey, I to, to, uh, stock tip uh weed breathalyzers facts <laughs> look at look them up just to, just to throw my brothers in jail yeah put, oh that's like that <laughs> so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna make a little side note I'll make a little side note. Um, All right. Um, go ahead. Next, next topic. Yeah. <laughs> John's aliens. That's funny. Uh, thoughts on conspiracies. <laughs> conspiracy. I are, are you? Do you consider yourselves like, like a, a conspiracy theorist? Like, is that something that you're you're really into, or you're kind of into? No. Uh, I mean, uh, depends on what the conspiracy theory, theory is, but I'm more mm-hmm. like science and backed by like numbers and facts. Yeah, yeah. I I I love conspiracy theories. I love them. Right, but, do you, but you don't believe in them. I don't just necessarily just believe it because you know it's on an Instagram page called conspiracy theories, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, nah. I you mean, yeah, they're they're fun to listen to and like, oh, like, you know, what if maybe it is real or what if, maybe it's not, but I just don't believe everything that I read or see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, um, I, I'm someone who questions everything, mm-hmm. you know, once any, any information that I'm given, I'm always questioning it to see if it can be false or, you know, uh, yeah, like, so if it can be false is, you know, is this really true? Is this just somebody somebody wants me to believe? Like, I'm I'm that person that always thinks that whenever mm-hmm. I get any information. Yeah. Uh, so well, I like, love to read conspiracy theories and see them because they're entertaining, right? It's mm-hmm. like it's like cheese, right? It's like gossip, right? It's entertaining. True. Well, like one one popular, I guess, conspiracy or whatever, like are aliens are real? Like that's like one of the ones that everybody talked about. It. You guys think aliens are real? Do y'all believe it? I personally, based on how big the universe is, I'm gonna say yes. Like. Statistically speaking, it's more likely that they're real than they're not real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're 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 real. I, yeah, I believe aliens are real. I I just don't know in what form they are. Like, are they? You know, do they look like us as far as like arms and legs and walking around and creating things? Is it germs? And it can be a germ, um, a or bacteria. Or right? or keep, keeping it a buck if aliens are not real when i die and i go to heaven and i see god i'm telling him i'm real disappointed i was like all you made was us right like you could have made so many other things oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this year allergies are bugging oh my goodness so last year so what's the cons- what's the conspiracy there that yeah, the, right, the yeah. government put it is putting in uh Different chemicals out. They're getting people uh weather, the weather machine. machine. Weather okay. machine. Weather machine. <laughs> That's real though, right? I've seen I've seen videos of that of them making clouds. I don't know. I've but, seen videos of that. I don't know if it's real or not, the video, but I saw a video of like them making a cloud that later I'm, like rained for yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a reason behind it though, like you know, like a good scientific reason. 
why they create it. Yeah, like yeah, it could be like rain. a maybe an area where the crops don't grow yeah. as much because they don't get that much rain. You know, they create that cloud and let let rain come down. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Not but, go. not but in Jersey, <laughs> but here, if y'all y- y- know if y'all from Jersey, in Jersey it could be all four seasons in one day. Like it'd be raining, yes, snowing, then the sun comes out. Like <laughs> make it make it make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the al- you know the allergy thing. Uh, I have an experience with that. So like my mom has like severe allergies. Like everything is sensitive to her, uh, and I never had that. But then when I moved from Jersey to Florida, I got smacked with allergies like within the first month. Mm-hmm. Like I just I was I didn't know what it was. I was like my nose is stuffy, my eyes are itchy. It was all swollen, yeah. and uh, my manager at the time was like, "You look like you have allergies. So I want you just go down the block and get the what's that little." Thing with the green tip that you put in your nose, flonase, flonase, with the green, the green what? Uh, the Nan- green cap, oh. <laughs> nasal. <laughs> it's like a, it's a one of those things. So he said, "Go grab one of those." So I went and I grabbed one of those, and then within moments, I was back to normal. I was like, "I got fucking allergies now." That's I some mean, bullshit. You, you can always develop allergies though. Yeah, so I don't know what happened there. You can just develop it depending on where you are. Uh, I, or, that I don't know. I just know that you can develop. Like you could be not allergic to bees one day, and next day you get stung by a bee and you dead. That's scary. <laughs> you weren't used to the weather machine down there. <laughs> true. That's true. Possibly there. There's a thing about Texas too. Like it's called like the cedar. It's like you know, they say a lot of people that come oh, to Texas. Oh, the get, racism. The yeah, I hear you. That's what I said. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> that's what. I said. Yeah, people don't. People don't are not used to it, and then they come here, and then they, you know, what I'm saying, then they get hit in the back of the head with a golf club for no reason and shit. And I have allergies, so, but they're not like crazy. Like my nose will be stuffy, and then, like I'll start sneezing and stuff. My eyes will get a little itchy, but it's not like severe crazy allergies. Thankfully, yeah. what yeah. would be the biggest disappointment to you when you find out like the kind of aliens that are out there? What kind of aliens do you want to exist? Uh, I feel like they are out there and they want to do with us just because they're so far more advanced than more us. Advanced. You know, it's like it's like your little five year old cousin, like, hey, let's hang out at like barcode. You know what I'm saying? You're like, why would I want to do that? I'm like, what? I've, I've <laughs> done that. I've done that a million times. Like, why, 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 yeah. why would I want to go there? Maybe, yeah. I aliens. So that that was really my disappointment. Hope. That's what my disappointment would be is like they come here and they're like they're dumber than us, and I'm like. That's the facts. <laughs> Tragedy. Egg theory. That's my. That's my life. Uh, what is that's, it? Your, what that's your thing. That's my life's uh, motto. Mm-hmm. Kind of go by theory. that. The egg theory. The egg theory. I don't know. Really that right can you, now. If you could just, the can you like theory. the Webel theory? <laughs> can yeah. you real quick just explain like a small like just real quick? Uh, the egg yeah, for okay. the people so the egg theory. I, I I read this this theory a couple years ago. It was actually in Jersey, like around the time I think I left, maybe like around that time. And for me, not to sound corny, but I feel like for me, it was a real like perspective changing, life changing theory, right? Like who knows if it's true, but just like the thought of that entering Mm -hmm. my mind just kind of changed my perspective on everybody. And I live life uh, kind of based on this theory now. So the egg theory is, um, how can I put it in without taking forever? So the egg theory basically is you know you are everybody right and every you're you're everybody who's ever lived right and our concept of time is linear like you start at one minute then it goes to two minutes and three minutes and it goes on to years and years and it goes that way that's our concept of time right that only goes linear but from a god's perspective right time can be at the same time uh backwards yeah you can you can live a life three years uh three years three centuries ago Mm-hmm. And then live a life now, uh, and then go back to live your next life, you know, uh, a a uh, b c or anything like that. So you time is is not just linear; it's you know, it's all over. It's all over, right? So you are everybody. So what the theory is is you know, me, Stephen, Danny, we're all the same person, right? When when our life comes to an end, I look good though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you look you look good because you are me. You feel me? All right. Fine. Uh, so when we come when it, when our life comes to an end, right? You look back at all the lives that you that you've lived, right? Steven, what's up, good? Steven? Steven, how do you mind the mic again? What happened? What's good, Steve? Nah, I'm just tired and like nah, just say what's on your mind. Like nah. Anyways, anyways. So like you were you were so Steven was Hitler, 
right? Stephen <laughs> Stephen hey, Stephen was also Stephen was also Martin Luther King, right? But Stephen was also you know uh, Stalin. Stephen was also Gandhi, right? Stephen was also you know all these victims of you know these crimes. Stephen was also the person committing those crimes, you know. So Stephen was everybody. So in this theory, you're everybody. You lived all these lives. And you need to live all these lives and experience all this. So at the end, you can become a God and kind of look over, you know, your universe. And so what, what I took away from that was, you know, uh, anybody that I meet and I, I wouldn't want to do any damage or any harm to them because they are me. And I looked, I looked at that, everybody like that, like you can be me trying to live your life that you need to live. But I feel right? like that's and, wrong. I don't care what you feel like is wrong. Every, everybody has an opinion on this. No, 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 like no. I'm, say, I, I'm saying I'm saying specifically that little portion you said right there, right? You said you feel like everyone's you, <laughs> but you don't you don't want to you don't want to hurt them, right? Mm -hmm. But you also stated that I'm the victim and I'm also the punisher, mm -hmm. right? And the whole point is to make me a better me and learn my lesson. So if you're stopping yourself from hurting someone else because of your beliefs in this theory, technically you're doing yourself self harm, no? Because you're not learning anything from it. No, because I can be the I can live this life where I'm not doing no harm. I don't want to do anything because that's that's a that's a life that somebody lives, right? My last life, I maybe didn't have this perspective, right? My last life, I could have been a murderer. You know, my last life, I could have been the victim. In this life, I'm just somebody who's kind of aware of this and I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to do to others that as I would do to myself. Right? No. Do to others as I would want them to do to me. Something like that, right? What yeah. you doing to them? I'm respecting their the space. You know what I mean? <laughs> he but look look it up. The X theory is really dope. There's a whole video on it that kind of explains it even further. Uh but the X theory was dope. I don't even know how we got to the X theory. I think John got me onto the X theory. Oh conspiracy. Scramble eggs. Scramble eggs. Yeah. Moving on to these topics. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Topics. <sighs> Topic one, um, for y'all that saw, we had a real busy uh, week involving the police. Um, My left police stroke reality. just went viral. Yeah. And um, that's a good question. Bad. How do you know? So we got somebody who wrote in and said, how do you know which life to live by? What do you mean? Like what, what motto to live by or... What do you mean? Like, choose who you want to be, like the murderer. Do you want to be the, be the good person? Like, how do you choose? That's valid. I just that's how, how you feel, right? Like, for anybody here, Stephen, do you want to be the bad guy? Do you want to be a criminal? Is that how you feel? I don't know. That's scary. Uh, Danny? <laughs> Danny, I, I prefer, <laughs> like Stephen, I prefer to be the better guy, you know? Damn. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I would want to be the good the the better person. The good guy. Um, no, I feel I like can, I, I can like... imagine having a mindset uh, or a perspective where I want to cause harm on other people. I can't, um, you know, intentionally because we all cause harm to other people in intention, not with those intentions, but to intentionally hurt, harm somebody. I don't want to be that kind of guy. This guy's all right. So his he stated or questioned, "Will uh, you be the victim or the victimizer?" You don't have to be one or the other, right? You can I, just be. I, I feel like with that theory, you have to be like. You, no. I feel like I feel like being self aware of this theory, you're doing self harm. You have to just let things. That's why when you were like, "Oh, would you want to be the criminal or the other person?" Right? I'm just like, doesn't like. I'm going to be whatever it is. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to be a the victim or uh, a victimizer. Well, one, you don't choose to be the victim. You just become one. Nobody chooses to be the victim. Right, you just become one. Uh, you choose to be the victimizer, right, or the criminal. You choose to do to be that. Um, well, I mean, we could even talk about that. Like, do you really choose that, or does your upbringing and your circumstances kind of push you into that? Either way, you know, that's just two sides to it. You can be freaking Mother Teresa, right? You can be, you know, a regular, your average Joe that works at PetSmart who loves animals and that's all he does, you know. You can be anything. Just being aware that the people that you interact with, you know, they they can just be you trying to live your life just the same way that you're living your life. Uh, we got I, think off topic. I think it makes sense. But back to uh back busy to week. So, so we had a busy week when it comes to uh, the police officers and brutality or not brutality uh, and some people's opinions. Uh, so we've had a really power. busy week. 
And we can talk, we're going to talk about that at a different time. We got something planned for y'all. So we'll talk about that at a different time. But I do want to bring up uh, what happened in our hometown with the the uh, bikes, the bike boys, and boy the bike bike boys, boys. The rough riders. So there was a video um, that circulated of these police officers in our hometown um, taking the bikes away from these kids, right? And just like social media does, you know, started going everywhere, ended up on Sean King's page, ended up on Baller Alert, ended up everywhere. And then everybody is posting videos uh, right away, jumping right on it, posting videos. How how dare the police take the bikes away from these kids? Like they were just riding their bikes. This is ridiculous, right? And you know, when you're when you're fed this narrative over and over again, the instant that you get a video, you just jump on, you know, the common narrative that's out there that the police ain't shit, right? Uh, but in this case, didn't turn out to be exactly true. Uh, so we hey, have a video up. We have a video up. We'll play the video real quick. Is there an audio on the video? Oh, uh, well, okay. He's littering. Uh, okay, so right now. Oh, no, he <laughs> threw it on the ground. It's not that like he dropped it. So right oh, now, is is all those, yeah, so is, is all those kids uh, freaking playing chicken wheeling, against cars. playing chicken against oncoming traffic. They lucky it wasn't me. Touching the cars. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a, if you guys ever seen those videos of of uh, people going into oncoming traffic, popping a willy, and then the last second, you know, dodging them, that's pretty yeah. much what these kids were doing, right? These, these kids also were riding their bikes in the mall, popping willies in both Menlo and Woodbridge Mall. Yeah. So <laughs> cops, <laughs> the cops followed them, and eventually – uh, it got to a point where all the cops surrounded them and started taking the bikes away. And that's where the video started that everybody saw was the cops yeah. coming in and taking the, the bikes away. Yeah. And um, from that, and with no context, being dicks, right? With no context, you look at that and they're being dicks. Yeah. So why are they taking these kids' bikes away? They're just trying to ride their bikes. Like They can be on the street if they want to, right? But when you put it in context, these kids were reckless. We're reckless. And that's very important for, I think, everybody to – to be aware of just don't don't just see a five second clip and then make your opinion based on that right just like you don't see these whatsapp videos and these facebook facebook videos and facebook. make <laughs> make your opinion based on that <laughs> what do you guys I mean, I mean if you're asking me i i understand both sides like i get uh the bikes had to be taken away because like they were because if it, they run into somebody like me oh we gonna play chicken all right and you're gonna lose <laughs> Like, I'm not going to stop. I don't even stop for cars. I'm not going to stop for a bike. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I agree with like, you on, on that. But, like, on the other hand, like, we did way worse shit growing up. Like, even just in school, we did way worse things than riding a bike. But you, you can't say he was arrested. We don't know if he was arrested or detained. There's a difference, and we both know oh. that. Yeah. Uh, the um, question was, uh, but arresting a, quid, a kid, question. Mark. But also, that specific kid was also being super disrespectful and he was not like yeah but but also i like from just playing devil devil's advocate like you can't talk to 15 16 year old kids the same way you would talk to me and christian like we're not reason those kids aren't reasonable you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm gonna tell you to eat a dick and i'm i'm dipping with my bike you know what i'm saying even if you were kind to me i'm like oh yeah. i hope your mother gets cancer and i'm out like <laughs> Damn, bro. He's, he's that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the Call of Duty days. My bad, <laughs> Steven. Did, you know that police officer is you in another life, bro. Why are you gonna treat him like that? Wow. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I think when you look at it and you just look at that video, you're like, you can justify the kids' like frustration. Like when you just look at the video of the cop taking the bike away, you're like, oh, the kid yeah. didn't do anything. Like the cop's just being an asshole. But. Uh, we, we got you got a comment in that said there are three sides to every story what you hear what you know and what you say the difference here is the sides are on camera poppy <laughs> the True. sides are on videotape you know so there's a there's a chunk that's missing right we saw them being reckless right popping a willy and you know playing chicken with the cars and then we saw them you know getting their bikes taken away playing victim you know and, and yeah and victim. And we, we didn't see a really real in between what else is it? Uh, the problem, we got a comment that said, the problem of the situation is when she lost her cool, she lost her composure Composure to a kid. Imagine what happened to adults. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Steve? 
Uh, yeah, I, I said that before. I was like, you can't treat, uh, you know, these kids the way you would treat an adult. But what he's saying is basically like, you know, if you're getting this mad at an unreasonable kid, imagine when someone who can actually defend themselves, you know, comes back at you, you know, with like, oh, I don't want to talk to you. You know, I'm going to plead the fifth. Uh, how you react towards them? Yeah. And I'm and I'm that's got to be your training, right? How you speak to different people. I mean, we, we as just regular civilians, we don't speak to everybody the same way. Right. You don't speak to, you know, a 10 year old kid the same way you speak to a 25 year old. All right. Well, in within the same situation, like you don't speak to them the same. You can you know when to, you know, use uh, different rationalities with, you know, different people of different ages. So it's like as a cop, you should be able to do that as a cop. You know, that should be part of your training. Right. Then why have you show up to these cases if you're not trained for any of these scenarios? Right, get somebody who's trained for the scenario to be there, and we're gonna get to that at a different time because we can go on and on about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. go on and on about that, but yeah, uh, to put a button on that, just you know, don't run, jump to a conclusion. Right, there's you know, look for the context of everything look at and, the and, and expect something very soon from us. Something kind of cool. Something kind of cool. Shout out my boy. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, so Florida House passes an anti-trans bill allowing students' genitals to be inspected. Uh, so this is this is. <laughs> Give me some uh, specifics, Stevens. Like specifically, what is this? So this is basically like Florida's passing a bill that doesn't let kind of like a, what was it Mississippi or whatever the other state that was like oh if you're a boy you can't play like girl sports and if you're a girl you can't play boy sports right mm. but they're taking it like a little step farther to ensure that you're a, a boy or a girl. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big step that I don't. I'm not cool with, and I'm not even. I don't even have a kid yet. Right. But this basically, is, this they, is basically they can inspect your child to make sure that they are valid and they can play the sport. Like that's disgusting. Right. That's. Disgusting. I mean, I, I, I. So the way I would logically see it, you know, is that like when you get your physical, you know, your doctor would be like, oh, uh, visually male. You know what I'm saying? I guess that would be like the best way to go about it. But that's just me playing devil's advocate. You know, Thirty-three really, states. Yeah, let me see. Reading, uh, Stephen, Stephen Reading, can you uh, read? Can you read this in the top? <laughs> Republicans in Florida's House of Representatives passed a new bill that would ban transgender athletes from playing on girls or women's sports. Oh wait, women's school sports teams. Part of a nationwide effort by the GOP lawmakers to limit the rights of trans kids. The bill, dubbed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, passed seventy-seven dash forty, wait seventy-seven two forty, with all but one Democrat voting against it. If it eventually becomes law, the legislation would mandate K through 12 and collegiate sports teams in the state by solely for biological women and girls, mm -hmm. rather than allowing transgender youth to play on a team in line with their gender identity. That's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't so, think to read any more to that. Read, so read, read any more of that. I, I would agree with this up until like a certain point. I feel like pre-pubic, I feel like sports should be unisex. You know what I'm saying? Like boys don't become stronger than girls or even bit taller than girls until after puberty. I was pretty short until I hit like puberty. You know, almost every girl was taller than me until I hit puberty. I'm sure you guys can agree okay. too. Mm -hmm. Um, Same so I, I feel like I feel like sports should be unisex up until like a certain grade point, maybe like fifth, sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, yeah. think, I think it makes sense. I think it makes yeah. sense. I would agree with you. Uh, I, I am, I am, uh, I'm not against the that part that we read, where it's like you know, biologically, you would place into your sport. Right, because yeah, yeah. We, as we discussed with the Mississippi, right, you have biological advances, advances, advan advantages, advantages, uh, had a stroke, advantages, uh, <laughs> in regards to that. But I crossed up my line is you're not inspecting my kid, Facts. you're not looking at my kid's genitals, like that's, that's not little, happening. It was like, much. what after, after, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, teachers, uh, molesting students is a big thing. And now you're gonna give them or whoever gets granted this right to just check their generals in school? Like get the fuck out of here. It's that's more than I, just I, I, don't, I don't know that's if it would crazy. work that way. Like I feel like Bro, that's when I was in elementary school, I got kicked in the nuts hard. I kicked in the nuts. It was a no, I didn't Bang. get kicked in the nuts. I, I got what was the thing they were doing? Bangkok. I was they got I got that really hard. You remember, you remember that? <laughs> They'd be like, they be like, what's the capital of Thailand? Bang! <laughs> right? And just Bangkok. That's right. Crazy. So I got Bangkok really hard. So I got back up really hard and like the security officer saw and they took me to the nurse and I was crying and I got to the nurse's office and she was like, go inside 
and to the bathroom and check your area. Make sure everything feels normal. It was, you know, as it always. Make sure it, just, it, it looks and feels the way they always felt. Uh, and then come back and let me know. So even at that point, she wasn't checking my, you know what I mean? And I was in what, fifth grade, fifth grade. She That's wasn't weird. going there. She wasn't going there checking to see how my genitalia was. She said, you go in there and you check it and you let me know. That is a shit job at, for a nurse. She that gonna, is, that she is gonna pull my pants down and look at my dick. <laughs> All right. First off, when, 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 <laughs> when, whenever I'm, whenever I'm in that scenario, <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. who is who who is big homie travel who is that oh you never played you never played with german that's german that's german yeah that's hilarious never said we allow politicians to do it no I think no said pediatricians. pediatricians oh, oh <laughs> yo, yo you what's wrong with christian today yo damn yo like oh my god christian. yeah it definitely says pediatrician put your glasses, put your glasses like, on it, it, it came up it came up and then it came away yo that's hilarious i just turned into my boy right now yeah, that's what I was saying. So German saying, or big homie traveler saying, I'm sure the bill requires a certified doctor pediatrician to do it. Again, we need all the information or actual bill to make an educated judgment. That's what I was saying. But no. either way, I'm saying that's a shit nurse, <laughs> bro. <a> politician. <laughs> Yo, I was about, you see, he's conspiracies. You, I, was, I was about, I was jumping into con conspiracy. You're chilling with one of our friends for too long, bro. Oh, yeah, I was chilling with my boy for too long. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, well, yeah, you were saying, Steve? That's a sh that's a shit nurse. Like you need to be able to turn the switch on and off when you're going to like you know into like medic mode or whatever. Like I've been in that situation where there's like naked women. I'm just like you know I'm I'm, I'm it's business. <laughs> why 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 you got to make it weird? It's, was, it's, not, it's was, my job. I was you know anticipating a Danny joke and I was like Dan, chill, be chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand. I think I think it's weird. It's a it's a it's difficult, right? If you're you you know with this. With you being in uh in a school with a bunch of kids and you're a medic and I know you're a medic, you know as a nurse, but it's I just think it's diff it's just weird. I just I don't I don't know I can't be yeah. I don't I don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable just knowing that any of the nurses can just go ahead and check you know if they feel like they 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 should based on the scenario. I just I just it feels weird like send the kids to the doctor to the hospital send them to the hospital. Uh, I mean maybe she didn't check you because maybe she didn't feel like you were giving she, enough she was, symptoms. She wasn't a, she wasn't attracted to me. She wasn't maybe. <laughs> Damn, I was ugly. I was an ugly kid. Damn. Yeah. Man. That's crazy. Uh, but as far as the, the bill, yeah. If even if the bill, like you need to the bill rec uh mandates that you have to go to the doctor, yeah, right? To and the doctor needs to report back, like, you know, what biologically are you male or are you female? Um, I don't think I have an issue with that. Yeah. What are the negatives of that? I, I mean, the trans community will speak, say otherwise, but what are the negatives of that? Of like, you know, part of your physical, because you have to get a physical to do sports, right? Yeah. Part of your physical just comes back with your gender on it. I mean, again, just playing devil advocate, like you're kind of telling someone who they are, you know what I'm saying, when they don't believe that's who they are. But biology also, you... uh, biology also speaks differently, especially in sports. Like outside of sports, I, I don't care. In sports, no. it's like, listen, if I'm a female, I don't want to fight Kimbo Slice. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't have a chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm sure maybe there's somebody that, that will want to test that theory, and they want to just, they're female, and they want to fight. I'm sure, but I don't want to see it Francis Ngannou versus Amanda Nunez. Like, we both know how that's ending. Yeah, like, so, like, imagine, imagine you go into, uh, I mean, school is like wrestling and stuff. So imagine you go into wrestling, right? And you're, <laughs> you're a buck 50. Right, you're a female who's a buck fifty, and you go in, and across from you, you're looking at fucking uh, Andy from our group chat. <laughs> you're looking at our Not friend Andy. Bro, well, <laughs> it's, 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 it's my weight class. It's yeah, my weight class. Weight class. So you'll be Yo, missing another one fifty. So you, you, uh, so a, better, a better, a better, a better option would be like a female and a male linebacker up against each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, like imagine playing football. I mean, lineman and and, and the line, yeah, I was say imagine playing football and you're the running back and the safety that's coming down is Andy, fucking. 220 brick just running at you <laughs> and hard. like i don't know i i think i think it, uh it gets real um i think people get real sensitive when it starts when you start talking about their gender and what they can do and cannot do and you know again we talked about this in our mississippi trans yeah. ban well but fam is you gotta keep these kids safe and you gotta keep the people who are participating in these sports safe Right. And I think that's maybe is the main concern. And I can empathize with the uh, 
emotion behind, you know, maybe put it being put in a box as someone who is transgender. Um, but I feel yeah. like I feel like it's I feel like it's cool with me, you know, to have them all like play together or whatever mm -hmm. until it gets to a point where it's actually competitive. Because I feel like up until like seventh grade, I wasn't like too competitive until I started realizing like what losing is like. You know so what I'm saying? During uh, up until uh, puberty. Oh, so, yeah. So yeah. Until puberty. So yeah. puberty. Yeah. Yeah, but you, that's that's hard because not everybody goes at the same time, you know. And, mm -hmm. True. But and boys, can... boys go a little later. Yeah. So yeah, I think. All right. Yeah. yeah well, while, while we on this topic, uh, I was watching the Jorge Masvidal versus Usman fight yesterday, and uh, our great friend Andy, who's two twenty, running over a female <laughs> linebacker. Um, <laughs> he has this idea that he's taken at least one UFC fighter with him. One. So we came up with the question, like, is, is there a sport that either you guys think you can be successful at? A professional sport, not just any sport. A professional sport you'll be successful at. So a uh, professional uh, to, sport to, that I can just jump in. To to add to the question, are we talking specifically like right now or like our prime? Like I'll say my I'll fat say ass prime. Do, I say prime. Warren Park, Warren Park days. Go ahead. My, my, my fat ass doing 50 push-ups with Russian practice prime. I feel you. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That. What, what, what sport do you think you can jump in at that moment and, you know, not even dominate, just just be all right at, just maintain, you know? Maybe cricket. Something <laughs> like that. Yo, but Keep it a bug, bro. I play Blaka in DR, bro. I think I could, I think I could do cricket. Bro, the sticks was this big. <laughs> Yeah, you, like, you hit in a baseball. Ca I mean, a, you gotta a, hit this a water bottle cap. Like you gotta hit this. Oh no, no, no! It's 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 Vitilla, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, That's do crazy. you th do you think there's anything? I don't. I can't. I can't think of any I pro think we sport. Just, just jump in and play. Nah, honestly, that's crazy. Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's foolish for you to think that you can just jump in to a UFC yeah. ring and beat somebody up. That's what I said about Jorge Masvidal. Every Nobody single, want to listen to me. Every single person who who fights in the UFC, every single you know MMA fighter, regardless of gender, will fuck me up. Yes, will destroy me. Even the girl that just fought, that she looked like she weighed a buck, buck, buck oh five. I think it was like what is she like one thirty? Oh, are you talking about Rose? She just yeah 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 Thug Rose Thug Rose. She just yeah, uh, yeah. hit him with the she hit the girl with the kick. I think she's so pretty. But anyway, that's your type. No, not even close to be honest. Oh, got no type. Uh, yeah, her, she can fuck me up. She put hands on me, bro. Like, what kind of hands? But you were mute. What kind of hands? What do you mean? Because <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Yo, yo they, they're fighters. They're fighters. They're fighters. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, well, let's paint a picture for not that I'm like, let's just let's paint a picture of what our friend Andy looks like physically. Right. Andy looks it, like a imagine, bouncer. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I got this. Oh, I got, I got, I got. Imagine you walk into Perth Amboy. You walk into your local T-Mobile, and you <laughs> see the man with the tight shirt on. It's probably either white or black, and they got mad upper body strength. <laughs> they look, they and, look like a drumstick. And tatted. And tatted. Like a drumstick? Yeah, and tatted. tatted. <laughs> that's, that's your boy uh, with, the, with the fixed hairline and the beard. Hold on, hold on. Hold my on. boy Andy, I'm, he be going to the gym, he be lifting like he's a real just big carnivore, straight carnivore. Like he might yeah. not be able to scratch his back type big, like you know what I'm saying? Like he got Yo, hold on. To... I'm gonna see if he answers. I want to call Andy and I want to know. I want three <laughs> reasons why he thinks he can be a UFC fighter. I just want three reasons. I just want three reasons. Uh, tell him that, uh, <laughs> we're online and he can't and watch what he says. Like uh, <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> can y'all hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah, loud. Yeah. Dude. Let me see. Yeah, move away a little bit. You better, be you better answer, yo. I think he, he might not answer. Now you're going to leave me on. Oh, he's working. So? <laughs> True. <laughs> so? Damn. Yeah, he's not answering. Damn. Damn, my boy. To be determined. To be determined. I hope he calls you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or find out on the next episode, Andy's three reasons why he thinks he's knocking somebody out. <laughs> I mean, he, he, yeah. he already told me one, but it's not valid at all. <laughs> what's your yo, what's the reason? <laughs> do you th the only person that has done that is like Kimbo Slice, right? And even Mazdal, Mazdal came from that same school, Ma right? Of yeah. like they're yeah, still still... fighting outside, but they're still got yeah, training, but... right? There's still there's still yeah, them like, like learning 
how to fight. And, but even still, when they sh- they show you what it's like to go up against an elite UFC fighter like Usman last night, and Masvidal was croncando, sleeping. Oof, that's a hard. That's crazy. You know what it is. You know what's crazy. What I find crazy is um or fascinating. You know how to sell a fight. If you want to sell a fight, you got to talk crazy shit. Yeah. Right? And you're talking crazy shit to each other, and you're selling this fight, right? And everybody believes that you believe you can win, right? When I listen to Masvidal talking shit or Usman talking shit, I believe that both of them believe that they're going to win that fight. Right? That's what I believe. And it's crazy to see Masvidal get knocked out, knocked out with all the 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 water on his on his head or the sweat on his head <laughs> formed. <laughs> The shape of his head, like when he got hit, the shape like of his head. Stayed, type of yeah, stayed in the water. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> that was bad. After that, like the moments after that, when you have to like see the person again and shake their hand, I'm fascinated about that moment. You know, how do you how does how are your emotions right now? You know, how do you feel after you've been talking crazy shit, talking about he has soft hands, he can he can, doesn't have knockout power, and then you get <laughs> lights out, KO'd. Yeah, the KO was bad. Like I thought he died. Like the the time. the image is uh is beautiful. It's a beautiful image. Yeah, it's a dope ass picture. When he got knocked out, cause like he he follows through on the on the what was the left or the right? I think it was, uh right. Six months of hard work and the right. He, with the right, and then you see him on the follow through, and then you see uh Mazadal just knocked out on his shoulder. Like, yeah. <laughs> he That's like it. it's an amazing picture. Hopefully we can get yeah. it up. Hopefully we can get it up, but it's a it's an amazing picture. I think it's um, a well deserved knockout. Yeah, and uh <laughs> oh it's Jose. Jose said oh, Jose hit him in bullet time. Who's my hit him in bullet time? Yeah, bro. Well, yo, I saw um Connor put up a video of him uh with uh what's what's the guy's name? He was promoting his gloves, no? No, it was I don't know if he was promoting his gloves. Yeah, he, he was he's always he's always promoting something. He was what, captured, what, the caption was him promoting his like super flyweight. Like super lightweight gloves. Who's uh who's the guy he just fought? His name escapes, escapes me now. Dustin Poirier. Dustin, Dustin, Dustin. It was him fighting Dustin, and he was he was showing the same move that uh Usman did to knock out Mazadal. He was like, Yo, you copying me, you're copying copying my shots, like you're striking the same way that I am. And uh he's like showing it, and then you see Usman do the same thing, like the the fake uh, left with the with the overhand yeah, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. faint left, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yo, you're copying my my uh, you copying my shots. I'm gonna have to show you how you really do it. So, so now he's like foreshadowing a a, a match between them Ooh. two, between Connor, two. Connor, Connor. No, no Connor. He's, foreshad- he's foreshadowing a match between them two after his Dustin match. What do y'all no, think? No, Connor, Connor can't get up to that weight class. He said, he said in, in the caption, he said, I'm thinking 170. So he said. So Usman would have to drop to 170, but what, what, like what are they fighting right now? Connor's. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, Usman. 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 Usman and Masvidal. Usman. We'll fight. Well, where was oh, that? Wait, I think that was 170. That's Walter. Yeah, right? that's, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yo, if you're watching right now, comment if you know what weight they were fighting at. That's 170. Once Connor fights 170? 170. Yeah, Connor yeah, fights 172. Was Connor uh, 170 when he fought Nate Diaz? Nate Diaz? I don't think so. I think that's not one. Yeah. Oh, that might be 170 as well. But they might have fought in both. Dude, what do you think? Yeah, they should. Yeah. Anyways, so it's not it's not far fetched to fight at that for him to fight at that weight, and uh, I think that'll be fascinating. No, I, I, be I think Connor loses. What well, we got? What well, we got? Oh, let's put the video up of uh, this is the knockout. Bro, like, look at look at the views. How many views? Oh, I don't see it. Ooh. Oh, one point nine million views. Look right here. Mm-hmm. Yo, dog, I lost Bro, my voice. Bro, and then he voice. shoves him with his elbow. I mean, with his shoulder. Not that. Ah, fool. Slips the. That's crazy. Bro, yo, this like, looks. Yo, this image is like beautiful. Yo, shout out to the cameras and the cameraman. Like, yo, the, the, it, when I first saw it, um, and it was a uh, pause right there. It looked like a uh, um, uh, freaking video game. Like the shine, like it all just looked like too perfect. Welterweight is one seventy for the UFC. One forty for uh, boxing. Okay. Oof. Connor has options. If he if he beats Dustin, which I don't know, you know the in the in the video that he posted, he looked like he was like he was doing good against Dustin until Dustin fucking cracked his leg in that fight. Facts. Um, and he's known to do to to readjust, right? Have to be good at readjusting and coming back for the next the next Wait, fight. So you talking about Connor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So so me and John spoke about this last night. 
Mm-hmm. Connor's the type of dude where I'm starting to feel like he loses on purpose. Like he'll lose one fight and he comes back and he just dominates every single person that crosses that walks in front of him. And this mm-hmm. is it's a pattern in his goddamn fucking history. Like he just he leaves and he comes back and he just whoops everybody's ass. So do you think he's just good at feeling you out when you're in there and coming back and beating you? Or you think it's all about the move? I think that's more common. That's more that's more likely than him just losing on purpose. Uh I don't know, bro. It depends. You know Connor's a money man. He'll, if Dana money. White's like, yo, lose on purpose. All about the moolah. If boy. Dana White's like, lose on purpose, we can get a poor re 3 I'm going to give you this much bread. He's going to do it. I would do I it mean, too. He's like Ben Aspirin. Ben Aspirin. Ben Aspirin. <laughs> ben Aspirin. <laughs> that's a good nickname. After that knockout, Ben Aspirin. <laughs> well, that's funny. Ben, ben Aspirin. Aspirin. Uh, the people ben are saying that his, that his knockout was, was fake. People are saying that he... Yeah. Uh, that he his knockdown. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's real. I mean, you, think it was, you think it was I'm saying, real? I'm saying he came off at least $1.5 million that night, bro. Nobody smiles like he's that after getting knocked out. Right. I mean, he said it. He said it that it was going to be the his biggest payday. Yeah, of course. That man, was a no, that man was a nobody in the UFC. A lot of these How UFC was, fighters cry when they get to, like, top 15, top 10, or even champion. Dana called bullshit, called bullshit to all the numbers they said they made. Yeah, I saw that last night in the, uh, into the post- post fight interview but mm-hmm. um where was i fuck um oh a lot of the the people that like they cry when they become champion and shit like that is because you're back to a, a seven figure bracket like when you holding that belt that paycheck is different than everybody else's yeah. that's like Connor, mean, connor's uh, uh, red, red panty night that's what they call uh, all the connor's fights no, 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 that's like, different when you have people fight, like you, anybody who fights him is coming up on an m I mean, yes and no. Like he's starting to fall off with the UFC because he fucking takes forever to fight people. But like yeah. the next biggest face of like the UFC is like Izzy because I don't, we don't know where John Jones is. Kamara mm-hmm. Usman's a great fighter, but like he just he doesn't talk shit like fucking Izzy and John Jones and Connor. You don't think uh you don't think Connor's still the biggest draw? What do you mean? The biggest draw, like for the UFC ratings and shit. Like he, you don't think he's still the biggest draw? Uh, I think at one point, yes, he was, but I feel like the UFC has picked up so much momentum, like after like COVID and stuff, that people only saw like the Israel Adesanya fights and the John Jones beef and the in like uh, the Aljamain Sterling and Peter Yan beef. I feel like these are names that are coming up. Who who won fight of the night? I think it was Doug Rose, right? It was two fight fights of the night, and it was Kamara Usman and Rose. And Rose, okay. That bro, I could, I could not believe she knocked out Zhang Wei Li, bro. Bro, it was like a perfect kick. Like, it just landed, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. I blinked. <laughs> I blinked. By the time I finished blinking, Christopher's like, oh. And I'm like, I look up, and I'm seeing the replay, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that's He's, insane. That Yo, when, when, when y'all see those fights, do you have um, yeah? Do you, you have anxiety? Like, when you're watching a fight with somebody only, that you like? Only, only, the, the, only the Usman. Fight. Only the Usman. Uh, yeah, that Jose one. says Usman deserves to be number one pound for pound. If he manages to beat Kobe twice, there's no question. Yeah, I agree with that already. He's that. he's he's Izzy number two. He just dominates that weight class and needs to go somewhere else. Um, but anyway, I like um, yeah, I like yo, I I like Connor so much. And John introduced me to to like when I first started watching uh MMA or the UFC is when uh Connor was on his way up, and you know John was a big fan, so I started watching, and I just loved the shit talking and then the executing. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just love that he shit talks and he executes. So, you know, that Dustin fight, he wasn't shit talking. They were fucking being friendly. They were being nice. Uh, so I would love for him to go back to that shit talking ways and then Wait, execute. The, the, the execution is the most important, but I want to I want to see that. The thing is that a lot of this beef, I don't want to say it's fake beef. It's probably real. <laughs> you know, they probably don't fuck with each other. But the mm-hmm. thing is that Connor's a really good loser, too. You know, he's really yeah, yeah, well spoken yeah. when he loses. So you can't go mm-hmm. back to talking shit after you lost your first fight. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to be friendly with you. You know, yeah, so he, he his shit talking is gonna have to be. Oh, well, maybe he's starting that right now, right? Because if he beats Dustin, he's already put in his uh, he already started his shit talking with Usman, right? Maybe yeah, he's starting yeah. that right now because him and Usman they're not friends, right? They're not, they don't have that relationship, uh, they haven't fought. So maybe right now, after he if he beats, we're assuming he's gonna beat Dustin, but if he beats Dustin, then he can go back to that he's shit gonna... talking, that shit talking, you know, uh, what's what he call himself, uh, champ champ. Well, he was champ champ. The notorious Mac life, all that he can go back to just talking trash. Talking with crazy. Listen, if if I had a house, I would sell it, and and if Connor was the underdog, I would put it all on Connor. I on guarantee, almost guarantee he's beating Dustin. Mm. It's just yo. It's just, I need to. 
I want to be able to bet on these fights, yo. Is there any way I can do a loophole to be to get out of? Because I'm in Texas, they don't do betting. Is there any loophole I can just get out of it? Like, uh, you can get a. Whoa, hold on, this is Maddie legal. Uh, no. You can get oh, nothing. What's up? 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 <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it seems like yo, you could. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let's go over one more topic uh, oh, before we wrap up. And I feel uh, uh, this is a good. This could be a good topic. And All right, so we had a friend. <laughs> We had a friend who posted friend, up. Uh, just a friend. A friend of the show. How do you feel about your girl having a male friend? But what she had posted was like smoking with like a male friend, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll let your boys go first. How do you feel about uh, your significant other? Uh, I, I don't judge you, Danny, whether male or female. How do you feel about them smoking with uh I'll try playing me, fam. Anywho, <laughs> with someone else. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I am her. I am her fucking friend. So she's not fucking smoking with anybody else. Just me. You're... That's how I feel. <laughs> Wait, is, that, is, that, is that honestly as honestly how you feel um if it's somebody that we know like in our circle or like one of our friends and stuff obviously i don't i don't really mind but like some if she just comes up and like one random hey yeah. like you remember such and such yeah we're just gonna smoke if we got like no the fuck you're not yeah you know i feel I mean? like i feel like it's 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 hard because you can't tell your significant other what to do right they're their own person <laughs> but they have to have that some respect for you Right, some kind of respect. Like, I'm not yeah, just gonna. Just, you you about to get called insecure out the ass, my I don't, boy. No, you had you had to have some kind of respect for your partner. You're not just gonna meet some girl and be like, "Yo, me and this girl are gonna go smoke." Like, you know, we're this is my friend now. We're gonna go smoke. I don't think that's. I think you have to have some kind of respect for your partner. Um, and it does get tricky, and everybody's relationship is different. True. Because I know I've seen posts about this where. You know, some they think it's cheating if someone goes and, ha- and smokes with somebody else with, with a with a with a female. They think the boyfriend is cheating, or vice I versa. See, or vice versa. Um, so I guess we'll, to answer the question, I guess let's flip it. So, how do you feel if your girl was to just go uh, have a drink with a friend, or go have a blunt with a friend, smoke with a friend? I mean, shit, you could do that at my house. Uh, yeah, I could, you know, chill, have your personal private talks in my fucking kitchen, and I'm gonna sit here and watch the game. You feel me? Like, <laughs> there's no games on that night. Listen, listen. The thing is, I, I, I am, I am male myself. I, I am male myself. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Unless you're talking about like someone who, like, I know mutual friends. Like, for example, like, let's say she's like, oh, me and Danny gonna go smoke. I'm be like, all right, bye. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, if she's like, oh, I just mel- met Juan Luis Guerra over here, and they're gonna go smoke. Like, <laughs> Juan I'm like, I'm like, nah, no, the fuck you're not. Like, like that's just. I mean, I'm gonna say, yeah, the fuck you can. And then when you see me like not here or not talking to you, you better yeah. figure it out. Like, I just, I just, yeah, I just, you just have to be respectful, right? Like, I'm not gonna, like, the female friends that I have, I'm not just gonna be disrespectful and kind of put them over my girlfriend or. You know, be in a scenario with them that's gonna make my girlfriend feel uncomfortable. I'm not gonna yeah, do yeah. that. That has to do right? with being uncomfortable. Yeah. So just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just make sure that your your significant other is comfortable. And if it's something that you feel like they should be comfortable with, then just have that conversation, right? You know, just have open communication. Don't just you know do something that you're not sure how your partner's gonna react, and then just deal with the consequences later, right? Ooh. You know, have that open um, communication. Figure that out, and then. If you know your partner says I don't feel comfortable with this, and you still go and do it, then you don't deal with that when you get home. Do you, ma? Do you, ma? ma? Do you, king? Facts. Do you, king? So, but Stephen, you don't think uh, you can have a female friend that's just what's the word platonic? Platonic? Yeah, yeah. I think you can. Platonic. You th- yeah. You you th- th- yes. Okay, so you have female friends that's platonic, like you just, you, I just kick it. I just friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. Danny, you've. Do you? What? Excuse do you me, have what? female? Do you have female friends? We're that's platonic. Um, <laughs> that's yeah, just platonic. Yeah. You guys don't do anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. strictly friends. Mm-hmm. Can you name a few? And you never, and you never thought about. <laughs> you never thought about or tried to sleep with any of these friends. No. <laughs> Females that you consider your friend. <laughs> no, friend. I have it. Nah. Because I think that's a problem. You can't. You can't put somebody in that friend bracket. That friend. You know, what I'm saying uh, yeah. group. That you actually trying to smash, like that you actually want to have, you know, intimacy with. You can't just put them in that friend bracket because, you know, now you're gonna be smoking with them or you're gonna be uh, drinking alcohol with this friend, and it's like, you know, what I mean, now it's an issue. And Danny's a uh, Warcraft, Minecraft again. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No, yeah, I, I think we can have friends that are female and just be friends. No. Oh. I think so too. I think so too. I think you just gotta trust your partner at the end trust of the day. You. Trust your partner. And then yeah, yeah. <laughs> before uh go ahead, go ahead, Danny. Nah, what about those pictures about <laughs> are we gonna show those pictures about the uh, yeah. yo what what's the story behind that? Is that just <laughs> wait what pictures? Bro, the pictures that I sent on Discord with the uh with the statues. What's yeah, okay, oh, well, like I didn't get it. Yeah, you did. No, 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 I'm saying, but what was the point? Oh nah, those are just um there's these statues. It's in India, and there's these statues. I think they're made of uh, trees or something. If I'm not mistaken, the statue but... is made of trees. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a cut. Like they cut it. I'm, let me double check. Let me the statue is made out of trees. I thought it was like stone. Honestly, it might be stone. I just know that it's in India, and they put it up on. It was like a Facebook post. Like, oh, look at these. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check. Yo, she thick as hell. Let I mean, see. uh. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, it's made out of stone, bro. Some is it India? Stone. Is it is it like India a stone? Is it like a yeah, Kama, some, Kama some Sutra stone. kind of thing? <laughs> Steve is a thick ass stone. <laughs> is it like some kind of Kama Sutra thing? And it was in India. Who got the? Nobody has them. I think I sent nope. it on the the Discord. So, so you we, we don't know the story. We just we just got the statues. Hey, listen, we just looking. Wait, yeah. can you share? Your, can you share your screen, Steve, real quick? I, I would prefer not to. <laughs> We're gonna show all the Pornhub links. No, nah, oh. not even that. All the open tabs. Uh, I think it's on. No, nah, not links. It's on topics. Topics. <laughs> it's on topics. You knew right away. Like, <laughs> I'm looking at them. Hey yo. Dude. So so they're made out of stone, right? Thick ass stone. <laughs> Made out of stone. That's talent, bro. Yo, like who sculpted That's this? Talented. Like... Sculpted out of stone. Hold on. Yeah, it's pretty that's dope. Really, that is. Dope. I mean, that's a beautiful work of art. Um, the person who made it is very talented. So we don't know anything about this. We just let's just hit Danny's. <laughs> that just hit Danny's phone. That's it, <laughs> bro. It was. <laughs> <laughs> that just hit Danny's phone, and that's it. Hey, listen, it ended up in our group chat, so we said, "Fuck it, we might as well show you guys." That's crazy. We're just sharing. You feel me? Yo, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It looks fire. Hey, yo, close your legs. All right, we right, good. We good. So that's crazy. Uh, find out what's what's the story behind that. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah, facts. I think, I think it's good. I think we're in an hour thirteen in. To be straight. And anything else y'all want to add in? Whoever's listening, you got any other questions? Anything uh yeah, I talked about in your group chats that you wanna yo write in the comments if you think Danny's a bitch because I, I think he's a bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it. There's a wrap. Yeah. All right, closes out, Steve. I right, familiar, muchas gracias for watching. You feel me? Let us know what you think. Send us an email at from the chat podcast at gmail.com. Uh, comment below or comment right now as we're talking. Uh subscribe on YouTube, Twitch, uh, you know, all the good spots are the g spots um and catch us every monday you feel like i like my Bro. hair too much why would i yeah. not like my hair it's a steven, lot of work steven might be the bitch <laughs> <laughs> yo it's a, uh, it's a lot of work my guy yo comment comment on our uh youtube page uh to some of the questions that we posed right so we talked about if you know you were a girl what kind of girl would you be mm. right we talked about uh, kind of aliens and alien conspiracies or how you feel about aliens. And, um, you know, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about the trans uh, bill, now another bill being passed in Florida, right? We talked about if, you're, if your significant other can have a friend of the opposite sex and where you draw the line there. And then <laughs> we, we talked about, you know, being an amateur trying to get into a pro sport. Or being Andy. Oh yeah, be nandy. Well, she hasn't called me back, my boy. Crazy. Bye. Oh, I appreciate everybody. Right, Thank you for listening. Yo, relax. All right, we yeah, out. Steven, Steven like his hair pull. You. All right, we out. All right, we out. All right. <laughs>